This morning we have Professor Prasanda De Silva at the Sri Lanka Morning Show. Welcome to the Morning Show, Professor. It's my pleasure, Sally. Professor, you know, I was going through your academy and looking at your achievements, and I was just thrilled to see a Sri Lankan achieve such heights. What made you get there? I'm not sure still, but I think a lot of it was due to a very Sri Lankan word, serendipity. serendipity. As you know, serendipity comes from serendip, which is our little country. And uh, the old meaning of serendip, as some of our readers might not know, is it's a very old Indian word for Sri Lanka, meaning golden island, Swarnadipe. Right. Basically, that's what it translates as. And of course, the word took on a special meaning over the years, which was that Sri Lanka is a place you will discover accidentally to be a happy place. So serendipity is happy accidents. And how do you attribute your chemical and chemistry background and the research you've done to this accidental... Oh, yes. It was all happy accidents because uh, I was very fortunate to have a chemistry teacher when I was in pre-university in advanced level classes. I must tell you his name. Yep. His name is Errol Fernando. He's still in, he lives in Sri Lanka still and I see him once a year and I worship the guy every time I see him. Because it's because of him that I understood that chemistry is a very worthwhile subject to learn. And one of the meanings was that chemistry is about the study of things you can touch and feel. So if there are things you can touch and feel, then maybe someday you can touch the lives of people. Right. And I was very fortunate to so follow you. So you're ending that. up as the chair of the School of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering yes. at uh, Queen's University of Belfast yeah. in Ireland. Yes. What took you there? Serendipity again. Accident. Like again, yeah, it was happy accidents. Uh, and out of some bits of sadness, meaning that as you would have known, like Belfast in Northern Ireland was known for sadness oh, yes. because there was a civil war there for 25 years and a lot of people died over the years. And it so happened that they had this lovely old university called Queen's University, but they could not get enough students from other countries. So a few of the local students would study there, but they could not get international students. And then a friend of mine and several other friends here was a musician. And then he happened to pick up a music-related magazine in the British Council Library in Colombo. And in it was advertisement for students from around the world to apply to study chemistry in Queen's University of Belfast. And then it so happened that a teacher we had in the University of Colombo at the time, was an English man who had come out to teach in Sri Lanka. And he saw this advertisement brought by this musician chemistry friend. I must tell you his name as well. Yes. He's called Ajit Abhisekar. And when he showed it to our teacher, the teacher said, the person who has advertised is my old student. And when I tell him to take you, he will take you. And he will look after you. And which is what happened, and then Ajit went to Belfast, and then another friend of ours called Ashok Ramasubu, and I was the third guy. Right. So it was accident, accident, accident. Mm -hmm. And so you, you did your studies there? Your, uh, yes, graduation? I studied there for the doctor's exam. But then my grandmother, uh, my Archie fell ill, and then, of, as you know, in Sri Lanka, we have to take care of people yes. because, after all, she took care of me. And so then I came back to Sri Lanka, and I never thought, I'll go back to Belfast again. I had no plans at all. And then while my Archie was ill, and she happened to be ill with a particular disorder which required salt balance for the treatment and the general practice doctor in Mount Lavinia, as it so happened, and he taught me how he was treating my Archie. And so then I used to wonder, like, can this be treated in some kind of chemistry-oriented way? And then I remembered some of the lessons that were taught to me by Errol Fernando. But then it sort of disappeared inside my head. Then. And then I got this chance to go back to Belfast again. So that's where you got this world-renowned research or world-renowned uh, invention that you created. Well, it's a, again, it was accidental, <laughs> I must say. Okay. Though one of the things that was in my favor all, all along was that I liked my chemistry. I think because of this teacher 
I think I was always interested in learning in general because my CEO was a Guru Nansi. So you tend to be interested then or if you're not interested, you get hit and you will learn. And <laughs> so I think I was interested in learning in itself. And also, as you know, in the Pirivena style education, which I was again lucky to have a bit of, the monks will train you to learn. Yes. whatever else and so I was very grateful for that but I had never made the connection between my ill Archie and the c my Siya giving me the feeling for learning yeah. but then when I was I suppose fortunate enough happy accident again when I got the chance to go back to Belfast and again that happened because my Archie passed away and then there was a phone call to the University of Colombo where I was lucky to work at the time and on my on the phone was my old professor, the chair in Belfast, which I am chair. one of those yeah. now. And he said, I'm sorry to hear about your grandmother's passing, but would you like a job here again? So, and I discussed it with my amma and she said, if you go, I know you'll be happy there because some of the friends from Belfast had visited Sri Lanka. And so they got on great with my mother, for example. And so we knew uh, life would be okay there. And then my amma said, you go. And Maybe you, 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 you are in the, you're quite modest, uh, Professor, I must I say. Know. I want you to yes. explain this world-renowned thing that you have found, I mean, the research you've done. Yes. Can you just briefly tell the people? Oh, about? I can, I can. I can show you it. I can show you it. I brought one in my oh, pocket okay. to show you. Yep. So, Sally, as you can see, I mean, this is for you to see as well. Like, it's a small piece of plastic, and it's very cheap plastic. And then, as you see, it's like... Uh, it's got six little circles in it, in uh, like five black ones and an orange one. I must confess straight away, the orange spot is nothing to do with me. It's a friend of mine in Germany who does that. But basically, as you can see, Sally, you can take out that red piece if you... This one just, here. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So that's the place from which you can admit some blood from a person. Would you take it back and describe yeah, it? Yeah. We have this little piece of plastic. Um, and so blood is put into this little piece of plastic from here and the blood goes around in this little loop as you can see it yep. goes all the way around and then along the way if you imagine it like a, a train track for example these are the little stations that you have so as the blood goes along it the blood can be examined by each of these little circles for different uh, for different constituents in your blood so so for example all m most of these are for salts of okay. different kinds so one of these will measure the sodium in your blood the next one will measure potassium and the next one calcium so these are the lessons that children all over sri lanka will learn in their high school and then ph and this orange one is oxygen and the other one is carbon dioxide so and do the they change color or yeah, good question, Sally. Because what we have is these uh, fluorescent materials, like Pratidipane in Singhala, okay. for example. And so like these, these vests that people wear for sports, yes. for yes. high visibility. And so these would be like that. But at the moment, they all look black. Yeah. But then what happens is this goes inside a little box about the size of a small bookcase, suitcase that a child would carry. And then each one of these spots... You, you shine some light at it. So we have these small light emitting diodes which are very common in Sri Lanka and other parts of the world. And they'll shine like a maybe a blue light into these. And then they reply with a green light coming out, just like those high visibility vests. But the big difference is these, the amount of light you get depends on how much sodium you have in your blood. Or so the absorption of different... Medicine. This is it. This is it. And many of your listeners and viewers will remember what is called the flame test from yes. school yes. when we do chemistry in Pahansilu Pariksha, right. it used to be called. And so then if you have a flame and you put a bit of salt into the flame, the flame changes color. And the more salt you put in, the stronger the color will be. And so that's what we do here, except there is no fire. And when this is now used all over worldwide, the world, all over the world. especially you would, uh, when I read uh, in, in your yeah. thesis and yes. how they use it when somebody is, uh, when there's a bomb or yeah. something. Yeah, so this and was used in Sri Lanka. Quite a bit. Yeah, in the, in the war. Thankfully, it's over now yeah. since 2009 or so. Yeah. And so as you see, I've been in two places by happy accident, you would say, but both had a lot of sadness. And so I was very happy when the company which makes this, it's Roche, the giant, uh, giant, yeah, 
um, and also for some of your viewers and readers and listeners, uh, they can if on their phone they can just put in the word opti medical, yep. opti medical as one word, and then they can see on that website how this is used today. Right. Yeah, so it's really wonderful that it's happened like that, and then Rosh saw the the possibility okay. of using these in the Sri Lankan war, and then the ambulances carried these. So that, I think, really touched my heart, and I'm sure it'll touch yours, Sally, is that even now when I visit Sri Lanka, when I... When so I when, when it, they use it in the ambulance and send a message to yes, what is required? Correct. So what happens is the ambulance will go to the site of the old suicide bombings, and thank God we don't have them anymore. But then when they go to the site, the paramedic will examine the person who is injured, uh, the dead ones, well, it's too late for them, yeah. I suppose, sadly. But for the injured ones, what they will do is they will take a little blood from an undamaged part of that person. And then in 30 seconds, this little chip is used and it will say the condition of your blood. It will say how much sodium you have, how much potassium you have. And then the paramedic will phone the hospital and the hospital can prepare blood to be put into me with the, with the right amount of sodium especially because before that time a lot of patients used to die the surgeon will do the best they can but the patient will die because the blood that is transfused is having the wrong level of salt okay. so all those lives are saved so this is an international product now it's oh yeah worldwide. so it's mainly made look, so the the Roche. parent company will be swiss but the manufacturing is done usually in the USA, in Atlanta, the Coca-Cola yep. headquarters, really, yep. and CNN headquarters, for example. Yes. But most of the production now is done in Tianjin in China. Right. They will make so the material for making these pots and things are made in China, but then they're sent across to and Atlanta. Then. And then it's sold around the world. So delighted they was used in Sri Lanka. So there are lives I believe, now. I be believe it's about a 500 billion market. Your, uh, market? No, f a 500 million. 500 million. Oh, you have your so numbers, uh, Salia. That's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> it is, it is. And what it also showed to a lot of places, including the British government, like, like this was discussed in the British Parliament two years ago, because it starts from very small beginnings. And I think the Parliament people didn't know. I think you were honoured in Parliament as uh, well. Yeah, it was really nice to hear that those. It's a great, uh, you know, oh. it's a great. We are very proud of that. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And and again, I hope it's for Sri Lanka and for Northern Ireland, two small but great countries which I try to represent now. But I must uh, reiterate, all of this was accidental. So finally, you want to thank anybody or mention anybody with all well, what you? Well, certainly, like I would first of all thank Errol Fernando as our sir, really, who who I'm very grateful for, and I must say thanks to Diane Tamakalanda who arranged this interview for us. Okay. And he would be a man to get on your program one of these days. Uh, I believe because I he believe is so. a food technologist, and again, he has many lessons for a country like Sri Lanka. Because I think one of the issues that Sri Lanka has is that the experts who have excelled in different places, and you were very kind to include me now, but I think you also need to include people who have actually run businesses, okay. which I am a massive failure at. Like, I can hardly spell the word <laughs> business because <laughs> I'm a university guy. And, and so I think you have achieved so much more than, and I mean, businesses, you know, make money, but you, what you have contributed to society. Uh, which is, is true. Is great, I, I think the great. society contribution would be yeah. nice. But my university, for example, tells me, why is it that we couldn't have had half the money from 540 million US dollars? Correct. So I would simply tell them, like, they didn't do good business. I was useless <laughs> at it anyway. So it's I their mean, responsibility. You, be, you got the Royal Society of Chemical um, Census Award in 2008, I you believe. You don't miss much, and Sally award Adam. For molecular, the, the award for molecular census and molecular logical yes, in 2012, yes, the um, initial one. Yeah, you don't and, miss you know, it. We are very proud to have you here. I appreciate I am, that. I am Thank wishing you, you very many much. more accidents. I'm sure there will be more accidents. And we will look forward to having you back again. My pleasure, sir. Thank you for being here. My media. pleasure.
Hãy subscribe